Emily and today as you can see by the title this is day two of our Florida trip back in 2018. Back in the very beginning of my YouTube channel you can scroll all the way down and see that I uploaded the first day of Florida which was split into a part one and a part two. However back at that time my editing skills were definitely not the greatest. Not to say that they're amazing right now. I still have a lot of work to go to get my editing skills better. However, it was so much better now than it was in the past. So now I decided to go ahead and start uploading the continue of the quote unquote series of the Florida trip that I took with my best friend back in 2018, I believe it was. So now here are all the clips that I recorded back on our trip to Florida when we were headed to Magic Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go. So it is officially day two of our trip and as you can see we went to the grocery store and stocked up on quite a bit of sweets and junk food. Trust me we did not eat all of this though. And we are headed on to our way to Hollywood Studios aka Magic Kingdom. I want to talk where dreams come true. Holy so now this is just us basically driving on our way to Magic Kingdom. I took quite a bit of pictures of the scenery as we were driving there. As you can see, the Tower of Terror sign in the very front. And of course, the Magic Kingdom sign, which is super iconic. And I'm so glad I was able to get one of these pictures as we were driving by. We also ended up getting preferred parking just because it was fairly busy and we wanted to get to the park ASAP. Motor was walking over <laughs> to where the ferry boat was because we ended up taking the ferry boat to our place to Magic Kingdom instead of taking the monorail which was another option as well. These next few time lapses are us walking on to the boat as well as just the scenery in general as we were walking off of it and as we were on the boat itself. Um, it was honestly so beautiful, so I'm so glad I was able to capture it. It is sped up because it was a very long ferry boat ride. If I remember correctly, it was probably like 10, 15 minutes of standing on the boat, which honestly was a really nice relaxing way to start off the day. Although there were quite a bit of people, it was still really nice. Right now we are walking to our first destination now that we are in the park itself once again this is sped up because we walked so much in this park but i wanted to get as much footage as i could Now is the amazing scenery from the very front of the park itself. Once again, I'm just so glad that I was able to get these pictures. Photography is a huge passion of mine, and so this was a lot of fun getting pictures. Of course, there's so many people to work around, but it was a lot of fun. Of course, this was during Christmas time as well, so everything was decorated in the park. There was a Christmas tree in the front, like you just saw. So for this next part, I definitely took way too many pictures of really cute merchandise in the store. I had read online that if you go through the left side of the stores, it connects all the way through um, to get to the rest of the park. Like there's no cut off of a building and you have to walk out and go back in. So we decided to look at all of the merchandise and really cute items that were in the store. I took way too many pictures of Stitch merchandise. Um, because if you are my best friend watching this right now, you'll definitely know why I took away too many pictures. Um, but I'm not complaining because they were really, really cute merchandise. And yeah next up is just a lot of pictures i definitely took a lot of pictures more than i took video on this specific day solely because i really don't have any meetings 
of things in pictures, so you're going to see a lot of pictures throughout this trip. And here is an iffy picture of me and my best friend. I, it was so much sun in my eyes, it was definitely not the best picture on my end. And now we are with the Tangled World where there's lanterns and the Rapunzel's Tower in the background as well. As you can see right now for this one, we are going into the Haunted Mansion. This was basically us standing in line and then after we exited the ride, I took a lot of videos of the really cute statues that were around the ride in general, above all of the ponds and everything that are on these statues, so I definitely wanted to take some pictures of these, a lot of people think that's a weird or whatever, but I loved all of these. As you can see now, we are walking into Adventureland and we actually went to see a uh, critter show. I can't exactly remember the name of it right now, but it was so much fun. There's definitely a lot of humor in it that I had enjoyed and it was overall just a lot of fun. This picture might look a little weird and you might be wondering why I included it in the video. However, Next are more pictures, of course. pictures on this ride as well. Well, for a picture time of food, we got probably the biggest cinnamon roll I've ever seen. We did not end up eating it all because I was just way too big, but that was probably the most delicious thing I've ever had. Now you can see us walking around here. We went to the little circus that was going on. And to kind of round off the middle of our day, we went on the kind of like a train ride that went around. And of course, I had to film the Tron ride that is coming soon, which I am so extremely excited about. Next, you have the Mickey ears that I got. I was looking for Mickey ears the entire trip, and I found some ones that I thought were so amazing. They light up, which you'll even see a joke from a cast member later on in this video.
that, we went to go see Stitch, which was a lot of fun, and I have a lot of pictures from that as well. And then, of course, once again, I'm looking at more Stitch. Then, of course, we went on to this right here, which was once again. And then we went over to the entrance for... Um, at this point, it was late at night, and I had a lot of fun getting pictures of the castle. As you can see, pictures were so important for me because I definitely love looking back at the memories of from my pictures and stuff like that, so this was a lot of fun. Now going on to Splash Mountain late at night when it was dark and cold. Probably not the best idea, but we wore ponchos. This was a lot of fun. Peeped a little picture of... Looking a little lightheaded today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, night, guys. After that amazing joke from an employee, it is now time to end off the video on some even more pictures that I got. Of course, this was day two, even though I took a picture with three since this is technically the third part. I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching while I am doing the little voiceover and I wanted to say once again thank you all so much for watching I am so sorry that this video was a little scattered kind of all over the place because I'm taking all of these memories and videos and pictures and putting them all together for me to look back on as well as all of you to watch and go through as well comment down below if you have any questions on our trip because I would be so happy to go over them and explain what we did or just any questions about the park in general because I did just so much research on that trip to really make sure that it was the best that it could have possibly been and I'm really glad that it ended out really well as well and it was a lot of fun. So click right here to subscribe because I am posting Monday, Saturday, and Sunday with a workout video on Monday, a stretching video on Sunday, and of course these random vlogs on Saturday as well. Click right here for part one and part two of the Florida trip, and also click right here for a video that YouTube recommends. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone!